first grader, Scott and I are both experienced runners. We know how to, <laughs> yes, because man, we are, we are practiced are, are at it. Are you kind of implying that there's a problem? Is well, there, have, there might have been problems in the past, even but, with but, history lessons. Yeah, even, and, and I have to tell you, today's segment actually came to us uh, because we were, we were talking in the car, and all of a sudden the kid combines a little bit of science and history. Go, Scotty, tell Mr. Coburg. Okay, so in 1872, well, I go to school in Littleton, and we, as part of Littleton history, we learned about the rough and ready flour mill, and in 1872, the entire flour mill caught fire and oh, no. exploded. Oh, was your father there? No. Well, that's no, amazing. Mr. Kobrick was. He was yeah. the plant was an employee. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so, not funny. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, but there have been a lot of green elevator explosions, yeah. right? And what's it called? Um, it's called a uh, dust dust explosion. Oh, and oh. so from the grain. Yeah, the yeah, grain catches the grain. fire. Yeah. So we thought we'd recreate that today. Why wouldn't oh, we? So well, put on your safety glasses. Oh, You've got right. a fire extinguisher next to you just oh, in case yes there's a I problem. Do. Uh, instead of using flour, now here's the thing. If I took a, a bucket of flour and tried to catch the bucket of flour on fire, it doesn't catch on fire. But as soon as you distribute it in the air, then it does catch on fire. It's like taking a uh, log and trying to catch that one thing on fire or bringing it up into kindling. So we've done this with a spore. This is a spore called lycopodium. And so special mm -hmm. effects artists use this a lot. So here is lycopodium. Oh. So if I take like a little pollen. bit of lycopodium and I put it here yeah. on the table, and now I try to catch the lycopodium on fire, nothing happens uh, at all. See, it doesn't catch on fire. No. But the f moment you distribute it in the air, oh. then you get something else. All right, so Scotty, you got your safety glasses <laughs> I on? I do. All right, so yeah, Go one little it. grain catches the next, or one little piece catches the next one, catches the next one. So it looks something like this. Here, watch what happens. Oh! oh! Pretty amazing. Oh, oh, See? Awesome, awesome. So if you can imagine <laughs> that release of energy, isn't that crazy? That was crazy, yes. I know, a little right, wild. Yes. So, so then I thought, well, there'd be another way to distribute it. So I learned this from a special effects artist. So this kind of goes in here like this. So here's our lycopodium that goes in here. So again, the real danger is the fact that it's distributed in the air. And once the little grain, if you can imagine a grain elevator, here's why it exploded. Imagine a, a grain elevator not having good ventilation back then. If a spark at all sets something off, one catches the next. Uh -oh. So it's a chain reaction. Okay. If you saw this in slow motion, it would be pretty crazy. But here, watch this. I'll do it right to the camera. Watch. <laughs> Oh. Isn't that wild? <laughs> that is wild. great. But then we yes. thought, you know what, why don't we recreate the why green not? elevator, right? Why I mean, not? Yes. All right, so here's Indeed. what we have here. So, Mr. Koperk, look down inside. You can see we've got some candles oh, inside yes. the can. Yes, we do. Got it? Yes. So I'm going to light these on fire here okay. like this. Right. So there's no problem with that. Hey, uh, Scotty, give me your shoe. I need your shoe, buddy. Okay. Okay, got that. So I need there your you shoe. Go. Got it. All right, so just in case, so I'm just lighting this on fire so we just have a little. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. All right, so now I think we put. This is not an advertisement. Yeah. No, no, it's no. not an advertisement. <laughs> it's good. So you see, we're putting the like a podium oh, inside. Oh, that was, oh, that was careful. close. Be careful. Be careful. We're fine. Okay, got it? Yes. Okay, feeling good? So now this goes on here like this. And okay. we kind of push it down. Like and the grain elevator. Get it like this. You kind of. Oh. Good, good. Oh, that's good. That's now good. let's see if there's enough there. I don't know if there's enough. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I saved you again. I saved Thank your life you. again. Thank Most of the Spangler boys do not have eyebrows. <laughs> uh, but, but that's how it, I'm the Mr. lucky Cobra, one. Mr. Cobra, you tell them about the website. I'll let you right. so you can do one. Okay? All of Steve's experiments, of course, are on the very... Oh, there's something floating down from the ceiling. Oh, uh, it's fine. ...are on the uh, colorful website at 90s.com. Sp the Spangler Science website. Stevie, thank you. It's kind of great to see you again. Go ahead and blow on that one, Okay, you ready? Watch this. Not, oh, the Wizard is not at home. We'll be right back. Oh,